Hey, welcome to Let the Light In. Today we've got the Siri T1.2 Nightwalker Cinematic Lens. Now these come in uh, multiple different color formats. So we've got the silver gray metallic version right here. If you like the look of that, that is available to you. But these also come in more of your standard black color coding as well. Something to keep in mind as we talk about um, this series set today is that these are coming in right now on sale at $360. You can check them out at BMH. If you want to, uh, regular, they're 400 US dollars right now on sale for 360. So let's talk about uh, the lens features here today. Uh, first of all, they are available for a wide variety of platforms. Basically, no matter what camera you're using, these will be available for your camera mount. So they come in E mounts, X, RF, MTF, and L mounts. So basically whatever camera you're using, these lenses are going to be a cinematic lens option for you. They also come in the 16, 24, 35, 55, and 75 millimeter options. So you can pick and choose and uh, make your set however you would like. Now something to note about these lenses is that they only cover the Super 35 format. So if you are using the APS-C uh, frame camera, then you will be perfectly fine. If you're using a full frame camera like me, however, this is just going to make you have to switch to APS-C mode. Otherwise your footage will look like this. So this is what super 35 millimeter coverage looks like on a full frame camera. So if you do have a full frame camera, you're going to have to switch it to APS-C mode, a crop mode so that we can zoom in and not uh, be looking like we're looking through a tube. So simply go into your video settings, go and enable APS-C crop mode, and then your footage will look back to normal. Now, all the, all the lenses in this set boast a wide open aperture of T 1.2 to 16. So that is why they have dubbed this the Nightwalker line because of the wide open aperture making it uh, useful in a wide variety of lighting situations. I personally took the 16 millimeter and the 75 out and shot the Northern Lights. And something to note here is that wide open at T1.2 and focused at infinity, you can see that the sky is quite crisp and quite clear. Yes, because we're shooting video, the FPS is quite clunky, but the product is crisp. All of these lenses feature 270 degrees of focus rotation on your focus ring. And I will note that very consistently throughout the lens series is that for three meters to the minimum focus distance, which varies, sometimes it's 0 0.7 on the 16 millimeter, for example, it's 0 0.3 meters. But consistently throughout each lens in this set, about 250 degrees of focus rotation is for three meters to your minimum focus distance. That's going to leave about 30, 20 to maybe 30 degrees of rotation for three meters to infinity. So what CRI have done is give you lots and lots of precision room for close focus distancing. So if that is something that you uh, tend to do and want to take advantage of, then that is just one of the characteristics of these lenses. These lenses have a 67 millimeter filter thread on the front. And as you would want out of cinematic lenses, they are all evenly uh, sized and weighted. So your focus rings are located in the same area, your aperture rings are located in the same area. They are the same height. And um, not only that, but the weighting is very equal across the line. So if you are using a gimbal or if you are using follow focus gear, the gearing is there on the iris and the focus rings. So all of that is a nice, uh, simple transitioning setup if you're swapping out lenses on your production. I will also note that these lenses are color matched. So whatever environment you are in, whenever you want to switch the focal length of your lens, swap it out, easy uh, transitioning because of 
the same dimensions of the lenses, but also in post-production, it's gonna make your job a whole lot easier because these lenses are color matched. So you don't have to tinker around and play with it uh, in post-production. It's already done for you. Now, if you want to take a look at the specific characteristics of both the 16 and the 75 millimeter, I've done specific reviews for both of these lenses. So those videos are up on the channel. I'll have them linked up here in like a little card. Actually, I think it'll come up on the side. I'll have it linked up here in like a little card. It'll pop up and say, here is the 16, here's the 75 millimeter review. You can go and check out the in-depth characteristics of each of these lenses. Look at chromatic aberrations, look at focus breathing. Um, one thing I will say is that the 75 does feature a healthy amount of focus breathing. Now these lenses do not feature any weather sealing whatsoever. So if you are in a, you know, quite moist environment, then keep that in mind and protect your camera and your lenses that you've invested in. Now, whether or not you want to purchase these lenses, here's some things to think about. They're coming in at $360 a piece right now because they are on sale. So they are on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to price point for cinematic lenses. Some trade-offs with that, however, is the focus breathing that you're going to experience on the 75 millimeter. The other trade-off is that these only cover the Super 35 format. So if you have a full frame camera, you're going to have to go into APS-C crop mode. If that bothers you, then that's something to think about. Now, if you're going to invest into the Sirai Nightwalker cinematic lens set, uh, here's some things to think about. I've also done a review of some other cinematic lens sets on this channel. One of them being the Samyang VAF series. Those I think provide quite an intriguing options. Now that series, the VAF series is double the price per lens of this Sirai lens. Now those are VAF, they have autofocus as a cinematic lens. So if that seems intriguing and beneficial to you, I do recommend going out and checking the reviews that I've done on that. And something interesting to note is that they just dropped an anamorphic adapter for those series of lenses. So uh, that's gonna provide you with multiple different options within one lens set series. I think that's quite intriguing. But for a more budget priced cinematic lens set, these do a decent job and are going to be beneficial for you shooting in different lighting scenarios. So if you wanna check out the individual characteristics, I've already gone and done those reviews. You can check those out on the channel. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are down below. That is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and remember to let the light in.